Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales a Blind a Playthrough Expert. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey. I think it's the last episode for the Grinmere province, hopefully. Uh, we are starting with exploring that question mark here, which is the Hoven Drorp mine. And then we go to the Grinmere ruins part two. And hopefully uh, we will find all of the necessary indications. Oh, cool. The foreman and slave have killed each other. The slave appears to have been tempted by a crowd. Foreman has a blow on the back. Hope no foreman's cut, uh, throat is being cut. Hmm. So slaves have been used to take the mine of Hovendorf, which means someone wanted to attack him on all fronts. But why? How does that help us to get the other council member arrested? Hmm. I was hoping we would find some more clues here. But apparently we're not. Am I missing something? Foreman and slave killed each other. Am I missing something? No. Underground Massacre. What does that quest say? Uh, da, 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 da. Follow the clues and discover what happened. Okay, yeah, well. Follow the clues and discover what happened. Killed each other, trampled by a crowd, foreman got a blow on the back, foreman's throat has been cut. Okay, so essentially they trampled through here, stabbed him into the back, but why is he then cut? Trail of footprints seems to lead outside. Following them might lead you to survivors. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Well, well, well. Pretty sure there is someone responsible for that mess. Whoever has been slit has an intense amount of constitution to be able to run that far when their arteries are slit. Okay, let's continue our quest here. Wow, I should have done the temple first. This is leading me through the entire countryside. I was here already, but that event certainly hasn't happened. No surrender. We won't go back to the mines. We'd rather die free than remain slaves. If it's really what you want. Mercenaries, over here. The all-seeing eye guides us. 
The all-seeing eye guides us. Not this chanting again. You've lost your mind. Mercenaries, help us stop these fanatics. Stand by us, mercenaries. The all-seeing eye guides us. Uh, mm. I'm sorry, but you have given me no reason to stand at your side and kill the guards here. All right. So as always, important NPCs to the back. We don't want to let them die. On the other hand, we... Should nicely cluster up. And let's go. Um, I think... I think uh, Polly can try to take out all of uh, these guys. In the meantime, let's engage over here. Takes away their uh, guard. And then let's have a couple of hits. two are going at it um, this flank here is open I don't like it so what we're going to do is triple hit two of them go back This guy is being pushed all the way back because I don't want to have to deal with um, a defender. They can engage and they have a lot of hit points. Very good. Once they are a little bit closer, we can hit them all. In the meantime, we're closing our flank here. That's a, ooh, oh, that's a nice hit. All right, Miss Grell. I have a great plan. I could even hit six if I could uh, if I could have positioned better. But yeah, quadruple sounds like a uh, sounds like a good idea to me. like that I need to clear out those two 
I don't want to have to deal with that amount of idiocy. There you go. A strength bonus, heal and kill this guy. Bleeds. Takes even more damage. Slice through him. Knife to the back and that was a good turn. When are the others acting? This guy is acting way too late. That's a problem. Yeah, we're again only getting a few, not all of them. All right, come closer. That very much deletes him from the initiative and it's two down, which, okay, isn't bad either. Could have been better, could have been worse. Does he get an attack of opportunity? No, he does not. 212, holy. All right, end of turn. Charges over here. Triple hit for good measure. Oh boy, that was a nice hit. Almost kill, uh, it almost killed him. Right, easy enough. Uh, what was that, Saiken? Come on. There you go. That's more like it. Bleed damage, burn damage. And just overall kill damage. And I think we're good. Hit. 
Shooting him back. Unfortunately, both of the remaining uh, do have... Oh no, wait. We could uh, remove his guard and then he's still tough, but not as tough anymore. Good. Roby runs across the entire battlefield thanks to his enormous speed and engages. And maybe I've been hitting the wrong guy. This one is going down easily. moves up kill and that's good fantastic well quick shield bash after attacking deals 20% sh shield damage to adjacent enemy hmm isn't bad either What kind of weapon did we get? Defender's Falcon, level 9. Easy to use weapon. Critical hit, target gets repost, which isn't bad. I like the combination of that quick shield bash and the Defender's Falcon. But I think our weapons are still better. Thank you for coming to our aid. Without you, we were lost. We were separated from the other slaves during our escape. When the guard gave chase, I thought we were done for. Please accept this. I took it from a foreman's corpse. If there is anything I can do for you, just... The owner of the mine is dead? By the eye! This was a blessed evening. It was that very night that citizens of Gosenberg rescued us. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the first time that I've felt... Ah... You want to know what the all-seeing eye guides us means? I believe it's the name of a prayer. But those who rescued us used it as a rallying... Okay, wait, wait, wait. We were missing one prayer. I think down here. Okay, so we can... We can definitely go to uh, uh, to the church and do the last prayer. So we only had two and uh, the guy there mentioned there is the third one. Maybe it is the all-seeing eye, who knows. Okay, well, next up we're going to go and get uh, some sweet, sweet temple loot. As for the weapons, we're getting a lot of spare weapons, which kind of tells me that uh, the game really wanted you uh, to actually run with a larger party. But I think our party is fine from a size perspective. If I was to add anything, I maybe add a second uh, ranger here. The assassins seem to be very, very strong, just for cleanup. But overall, I like uh, the party composition that we're running. It never feels dull and the fights are uh, challenging. I haven't fully understood. I have a suspicion that the party size 
scales with um, with your own party size at least that's what I think it does and in that case it really doesn't make any sense to have a larger party for me at least because the fights are already relatively large and for a 30 minute episode you guys don't want to see me just going at it and um, fighting back and forth against enemies for 30 minutes straight so uh, what did we have blue tie fighter red uh, tri fours Well, uh, before we fight them, can I equip Zoe? Uh, Fail to do that. Okay, so here is a natural. Here is a natural choke point. Here is one as well. Good, if we are, uh, if we were to make everybody orderly. Zoe and Miss Grell's relationship have improved. That is important because they hated each other. Bear moves up. And we're starting to engage with the first enemies. And soon more are showing up. Lovely. I think we found the enemy. Good one down here. One down there. can stay here. <laughs> All three are packed it. One, two, three. Okay, this fight is going uh, is going very much in our favor. Like what I'm seeing. We're just chilling out with our friends. The archers cannot do anything anyways. Amri is holding a position there and we're moving over best friend bonus done one two three four five six okay cool this grill starts moving up very solid hit. Appreciate that. Uh, 
and let her charge back into the light. Good chance for Zoe to be meaningful. Hit and attack and that's already it. Done. Yeah, the challenge here in the dark is you never know how many enemies are still around. And they're not hitting very hard as long as our tanks uh, keep everybody safe and secure. I think we're fine. Good, Dilly kills another rat and I'm still seeing quite a few enemies on our radar. Engaging with a creeper. And there we go. More reds. I wonder if there is a better way to uh, to go about it. But I think there isn't. Yeah, potentially the best way is to just uh, get more torches. It's a bit unfair that um, Ender Sanders naturally has a torch. So for him it's absolutely no downside in just keeping it. Alright, hit, bleeds, crit, kills. Further hit, bleeds, burns, crit. One, two. That's pretty much it. Um, hits, bleeds, burns, bleeds even more. Oh yeah, the crits are nice. But we know two more reds are over here. Just couldn't find them. But if we do have our tanks kind of standing there standing guard that almost secures our flanks none of uh, our squishier targets uh, take any meaningful damage and with us uh, also always generating more valor thanks to the manifold approaches of uh, the enemies we're very much good to go 
not a kill. Where is the rest? That's a good question. Fantastic. Well, if you do have a good position, I think I'll, I'll do that triangle from now on. It really helps. Also, I think we're actually going to do the Zoe goes with a torch style. So there is a camp in here. This is the final chamber and we still don't know the third sign. Learned a new rune. I wondered if anyone would get here. Looters often end up dying in this tomb, but few ever make it. I hope you can appreciate some of the beauty of the ancient's legacy. I never tire of it. Just look at that fresco. It has so much to teach us. Willa Old Hovendorp? Never. Well. Interesting that the guy is standing here all alone without any guards, no one to protect him. And apparently the creeper leave him alone. He's too bony. All right, uh, yellow zigzag it is. Fabulous. Activating that. Opening the last uh, movement, yeah. Good, so we're looking at blue TIE Fighter, which is that one. Uh, we look at yellow Triforce and uh, red Triforce and yellow Zigzag. Or Lightning or whatever it is. All right, let's get ready for the final battle. There is always one in the final room. But this time we came prepared. We do have two torches. Which hopefully will be an advantage for us. So let's see. wall here uh, people could come from here come from there and from here which really means our three directions of defense will be Nemri over here this grell over here and Roby the bear will be over there Okay, now with that in mind, could also put the bear here. With that in mind, could we tactical order more than a few? Oh yeah, we can. There we go, orderly, I like that. And she has protection, which tells me there are more than two enemies uh, right there. Creeper takes a lot of damage. Creeper takes even more damage and we're finishing him. Fantastic. Ah. 
Good. Now is the time when we're starting to get swarmed uh, from all of uh, the different directions, but that's okay. Um. Moves to here. And the front line is forming. I don't like what I'm seeing here. Good, very good. Everybody's orderly. And yeah, as suspected, more enemies would be moving in. Oh yeah, way more enemies are moving in here. Starting to hit the creepers. I will put these, uh, this flank here a bit closer as well. Holy, holy. A bit wasteful in terms of points used, but I think overall okay. We just need to get everybody together. Good. Moves up. These guys, guys hate the light. Hits. Punches. And I tell you what, we're actually shifting it a bit over to here. Bear moves back and we have a super solid defense. Lots of reinforcements are coming. I'm not afraid of them. Good. Enders does what Enders does best. Freeze up his friends and helps killing the enemies good very compact uh, positioning Time. Let's kill these small rats. Roby is under pressure here.
Moves up. Very well. So he gets back. And although uh, she's not dealing a lot of damage, I, the fragility as well as the, uh, the option to do, for instance, this here, move up. Hit both of these um, maggots. That in itself is helpful because with more light, the archers can finally do something. Another creeper, what a surprise. Hit. Very nice crit. And kill. Back to here. Oh wow, more reinforcements. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's a lot. Good. Moving carefully to here. Let's clear out this flank. Not quite, but almost. Okay, so far we're doing well, but the meter here sort of tells me there are plenty of additional enemies. Good, we know this guy continues to stay there. Which is fine, I'll, I'd rather join the light and we'll fight him next turn. Or, in that case, fight him right now, kill him and go back. Good. There is nothing over here. Which means all of the enemies must be here and we're still not really seeing a lot of uh, movement. Hitting the mole rat, getting relentless. Yep, two hits and it's almost down. 108! More, wow. Oh, wow. Well, apparently, we're not the only ones that can crit. Good, we're being motivated. 
That's a start, but wow. There must be still a few enemies here. I almost want to charge down there, but that's not really worth it. Uh, we would expose ourselves. Rather clear out the flank. Oh, easy. Well, that was the second, uh, second last of them. Cool. Uh, close fight, but we made it. Oh yeah, there's treasure of the ancient. Turn back and back. How many ornate keys do we have? Two. Which means we can look it up and well, that was not too bad of loot. Got some options out of it. Still trying to understand what we can learn. Uh, what we can learn. It feels like we know so much already. Potentially need to build that light pony plate at some point. Well, there you have it, my friends. A group of looters when but if you ask me the ancients or there you have it which is a good time also in all fairness to end today's episode 45 minutes go by faster than expected next time uh, we're doing the broker's palace and i sincerely hope that this is going to finish the quest because i am out of ideas we've almost explored that entire region here yep well let me know what you think um, if you like the tomb then um, feel free to give it a solid ancient thumbs up and uh, see you in two days bye bye